video moment. Like, hey, look, turn off my the mo geniuses. Turn off my energy during the winter crisis. Hey guys, Brian here, and today we're looking for lime bikes for a future video that I will upload soon, or maybe before this video. But yeah, I'm here with the boys, Sean, the cameraman himself, Mario. And me, and now we've been looking for the past three hours and we haven't found it. Yep, it's gonna be a long day. Nice. downtown than it is to find electric scooters. That's some food for thought. They have a big blanket. Oh, they cover yeah, them. Like, Yo, King Kong. Dude, it looks so it's such high quality. It's such high quality. It's like being a huge camera. I saw Looks like we made a pig. We're in the city. Like every time I come to downtown, I see something more. Like a gorilla on the TV. Yeah, this doesn't feel real. Like I'm not sure I'm in fucking Dallas anymore. Looks like the city of downtown. Oh shit. What think that was? Five million dollars. Ten million dollars. I don't even know, dude. All I know is that oh, it wasn't paid with tax money. It's AT&T. Which is pretty cool. Imagine if your tax money went for making a really big TV downtown. I'll be fucking happy, yeah. And it's funny, we've never been here, but it's like... That's cool. Like... Just so happens to be that, like, cross is covered. That building's cool. That one? Yeah. Oh, yeah, that one's cool. Which one? I know it's been there for The TV building, or which one? The one right in front of us. Oh, it is pretty cool. Yeah. Actually, it's like... Yeah. I'm pretty sure this is the NSA building. You see the line bikes? Let's go. I love how like within a street of crossing like the lights are gone and now it's fucking a city again. No, you wanna know how? The boring city. Oh shit, never mind, there's a library. Library is full of knowledge. Damn, now we're getting to like the part where you get like stuff and shit. Yeah. What is that? They're not scooters, they are the homies. This is the Six Flags over Texas. Yeah, man, that's not the fucking Mexican flag. So it's a Confederacy flag, right? No, it's not. No, no, no. It's like the old school Texas flag, right? Oh, it's the Republic of Texas. Wait, so it's the United Maybe. States... Maybe. Republic of Texas. Republic no, no, no. of Texas. Maybe. That's when it used to be a, a country. I think so, yeah. So it's yeah. U.S., Republic, Republic of Texas, 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 Mexico, Spain, and then like France or something. La France. I would honestly just say, my take on your video is that like instead of finding videos to support your claim, you tailor your claim.
So it appears I've come to a big problem now. I can't find any scooters or bikes. Nothing. I look around here. The streets used to be full of yellow, green, red, whatever. But now I can't find them when I really need them the most. It's a sad day for the city of Dallas and for entrepreneurs worldwide. Turns out I was wrong about these so so called lab. Turns out I was wrong about these rideshare vehicle companies. Turns out I was wrong. Turns out I was wrong about this. These. Keep going, keep going. Turns out I was wrong about these companies robbing the city of its so called creative freedoms. In reality, it's the opposite. It really is the city that has stopped any form of creative control. Turns out I was wrong about these companies robbing the city of its so-called creative freedoms. In my previous video, I accused companies such as Lime Bike and Uber of consolidating the pedestrian vehicle market when in reality they were just taking advantage of an idea that was there. They saw a market opportunity and created it. But now, it seems like we can't take advantage of these interesting little innovations. If you look around here, there's no vehicles anywhere. It appears that the city is actually removed any opportunity for innovation. Example of, I still won't retract my previous statement. Bikes are being thrown around and scooters jumbled up everywhere. It isn't a pretty sight, but there's a windows of opportunity there to be exploited. Why can't someone invent something to put the fucking things in? Damn. At least that's how my story would have ended if it weren't for one of these bad boys right here. So, change of plans. We couldn't find any actual scooters, so now we're enjoying the nightlife of the boat. It's a nice little place. Sometimes. So, where are we right now? We're in the faux boat. We're in the faux boat. How do you guys do it? Just, just step. This is good. It puts so much sugar in it. No, that's why it's like so it's squishy juice. stuff at the bottom. That's some like tapioca nuts. Pretty good. <laughs> Have you heard about what a happy tapioca is? Hey, what's up? It's like Have a you, shit. you know uh, Scooby Doo? <laughs> I don't want to know. Anyways, guys, that's it for today. Have a good day, good night, wherever you guys are. And I'll see you guys later. Goodbye. And my brother's getting back to it. He's gonna turn into a robot. <laughs>